It's Quiziola. Let's jump into it. Charles Wright respond to the backlash he received from disrespecting the chanting yesterday. You know, her family um, pulled the plug on her. They're allegedly saying she overdosed. And basically, Charles Wright responded to it, and he's standing on what he said. But y'all know how Charles Wright is. He going to say what he want to say. But I'm finna share with y'all his response. In the meantime, can y'all please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. When I told her drop a pen, they telling you what they doing. I gave her the bitch a perk, brought her back to the trap. She ain't even understand me. When I told her drop a pen, those are the lyrics around the little boy she was around. So y'all think if if her boyfriend, Big Star, whatever the little nigga name is, he died of the same thing she died of. Come on now. Remember Ray Charles and his little bitch? Remember Ray Charles, bitch? Ray was getting high with the bitch. And the bitch died. Ray get the phone called and his wife gave him the phone. And his wife, yeah. That's how they go, y'all. That's how this go. That's how this go. So, who mad at me about telling the truth? And I've been studying and watching this little girl. See, y'all, see, see what get me here when she was alive. I don't see y'all showing the same love. Just last year, nigga, she been needing a hit. She ain't made a hit song. She ain't had a hit record. She ain't, what, well, what, well, y'all ain't been showing her shit. But now that she's dead and all over, we go act like she wasn't a pill popping little freak. Yeah, her mama and them go hear this. But they heard her lyrics too when she was talking about sucking pussy and taking dick. They heard that, so why they can't hear this? Cause it's the truth, ain't it? Motherfucker want me to muzzle my mouth for the truth. I don't know how to. Yeah, no, I don't know how to. Yeah, I don't know how to, nigga. When I think it, I say it. I used to get my ass whooped as a kid. Yeah, when I was a little bit of boy, I used to get my ass whooped saying what I thought. And I never learned to bite my tongue. I remember I bit my tongue one time, literally. Well, it hurt like a ball, and I bit the tip of it when it started bleeding. So when I heard people say, I don't bite my tongue, and I found out what not biting your tongue meant, no, nah, I don't bite my tongue no more. I did it once, and I was a little boy, and I made it bleed. So I don't bite nothing on me. I don't hurt nothing on me, nigga. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck who mad. Ain't nobody go do nothing. Don't nobody want to die behind me talking. That's what I already been doing. <laughs> so nobody want to die behind me talking. <laughs> so, uh, and I just want to make it clear and plain and clear. I don't give a fuck about a dope fiend. I had dope fiend names, a dope fiend grandma, And I didn't like them because my mama used to help their kids. So I don't like dope fiends. I used to mistreat dope fiends a little bit of boy. Take their car, keep it, wreck it, uh, beat them up, all kind of shit. I just hate dope fiends. And I sure hate a dope fiend bitch. Cause that's what I used to look at my grandmama, my auntie, and my dope fiend bitches doing my mama wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I ain't got a lot of sympathy for a dope fiend motherfucker. Fuck yeah, it's dope fiend rapping bitch with a hot pussy and then died swallowing the pill. So I'm just saying, if I ever come up dead, uh, doing what I love. What happened to Blue? Man, nigga died at the strip club. Then they bombed the strip club. Uh, man, he died, went back to the room with some bitches, and they pimp seed him. Uh, if that ever happened to me, say, hey, man, that nigga was doing that, having fun like a motherfucker. Because I died doing what the fuck I want to do. So that's my concept of this shit. Man, that whole died getting high, fucking doing what they want to do. Shit, fuck you, sad and mad, fuck. Man, makes sense to you? Might not, but it makes sense to me, so fuck you.